I started my journey to a more minimalist life about four and a half years ago, and I just wanna take a look at all the things that I stopped buying over the years. I'm not saying I'm never gonna buy these items ever again as long as I live, but in the last several months, these are things that I just haven't purchased and honestly haven't missed. I used to hit up the Target dollar spot every turn of a season, every new holiday. <laughs> I used to stock the Target dollar spot and several times a year. Some of you might know that I used to be a beauty or makeup channel. This is a while ago, a few years ago, and I used to collect all the makeup. I had subscriptions to makeup services and I don't do that anymore. I have loved the Happy Planner for so many years now. And one of the reasons I absolutely adored it was because of all the cute stickers. I gave it up, I went to a standard planner with no stickers, very straightforward. I'm really trying to cut back on the money that I'm spending on snack foods. They just go really, really fast in my house and are not the healthiest usually, so I'm just passing them up. I just don't even go there. If it's not on my list, I won't buy it. Floor lamps, I don't own any. I had one floor lamp in an apartment like 10 years ago and I hated it. Can you believe that I don't own a single house plant? Not one. I, I've never owned a live house plant ever. I am so bad at keeping things alive. Some common kitchen items that I don't own are Tupperware, a food processor, a KitchenAid. I don't own a bread maker. Things like that I just have never really found the use for. I don't own a full length mirror. I see a lot of people's homes with them. I think they are so pretty and I think they're really nice when you're getting dressed. You can stand in front of it, see if you like your outfit, but I, I don't have a full length mirror. I don't have shaving cream in my house. I don't use it when I shave. I just use a bar of soap and that's it. I used to use shaving cream, but I I like get little bumps on my skin no matter what I use. So I figured I might as well just save the money. I don't own a bathrobe. And at some point I had one and I actually used the same robe for about seven or eight years. And I just loved it to death. And since I got rid of it, recycled it, I haven't purchased a new one. I don't own any placemats. And I used to have different sets of placemats placemats in the kitchen for different occasions. And I wonder if people just aren't really using placemats anymore. Are they even a thing? When I first got married 14 years ago, they were pretty popular and you could find placemats everywhere you went and maybe you still can. I just haven't been looking for them. But do you own placemats? Do you use them? I don't own a Keurig or a coffee maker or anything like that. If I'm going to have a hot drink, I will just use the microwave or the stove top. I find that these machines are rather large and they just take up the room in the kitchen that I don't have. And so I am really, really happy to do without like different kinds of machines. Plus I don't drink coffee very often. So I just don't really find that I need to have one in my kitchen. Some of you might be surprised. I do not own any instant pot. I had one at one point and I was so intimidated by it. It just sat there and sat there. I never used it. So I went ahead and decluttered it from my space. I used my slow cooker, which I know the instant pot makes it fast and that's the beauty of it. That's why it's called that. So many people love it, but I just never could get up the guts to use mine. I do not own anything for hands-free calling. No earbuds, nothing like that. I just use my phone on speakerphone if I need to talk hands-free. I do that in the car, I do it around my house. So I don't have anything for hands-free calling, which I feel like is maybe strange in today's world. I feel like most people are using hands for calling, but I just don't do it. Earlier, I mentioned how I don't own any placemats. Going along with that, I don't own a tablecloth. I used to own these tablecloths that I would bring out a couple times a year and use them to kind of decorate and spruce up my table. It just took up extra room in my linen closet, and because I didn't use them very often, I didn't really find that I needed them. Special occasion clothing. I do not buy it any 
anymore. I just have a few <laughs> basic and classic pieces in my wardrobe that I can pretty much dress up or down for any occasion. If I'm going to a wedding, I'll just wear like one of my nicest church dresses and just dress it up with some jewelry. I don't buy high heels. I don't even own a single pair. I also don't buy makeup remover wipes. I used to have them on hand all the time just to kind of clean up around my eyes at night and I don't buy them anymore. I haven't bought them for a really, really long time. I do not pay for manicures or pedicures. I just like having my nails natural. Then I don't buy nail polishes anymore. These are two that I've had since last year and I don't even know if I'll use them this year. If I don't, I will go ahead and declutter them. New clothing for kids. I love shopping secondhand. We have a place near us called Kid to Kid and I find beautiful options for my kids that are really affordable. I can get the brands that I really love like Gap and Janie and Jack and Zara, but I just pay a few dollars. So I love buying secondhand clothes. I will rarely buy something brand new. Most of the clothes that I buy them are secondhand. I also don't buy branded clothing. And what I mean by that is like, lettering that really advertises for the brand. I used to love buying body sprays from like Walmart and Target, the ones that have a really high alcohol content. I don't buy them anymore. I have just, my taste has changed. I used to pay for my kids to go get their hair cut at a little kid salon or just a haircut place. I have just decided <laughs> that it costs too much money. So I have started cutting my kid's hair by myself. I am telling you, it is something you can learn. I did not go to school for hair. I don't know anything about it, but I was able to figure it out. Watching videos online is really helpful and boy, it saves us a ton of money. I used to love diffusing essential oils. I loved it. I had such a collection of essential oils and I used to buy diffusers, but I just have noticed that I enjoy burning candles more. I have stopped buying workout clothes, gym memberships. I just don't feel like I need to do that. I love working out at home. I used to have special glassware for when we hosted company or we had a holiday and I just, I don't have that anymore. It has been really nice just to cut down on the glassware and the dishware and just have this one set and use it for every occasion. I also don't buy sugary drinks anymore. I do not buy bulk foods. I don't buy big packages of fruit snacks or really big quantities of meat or anything. I just keep everything down to a two week supply, sometimes even a week and a half. I don't buy magnets. These are left over from a few years ago and I do like to have just a couple for the side of the fridge. I used to buy special floor cleaners for my hard flooring, my vinyl but I don't anymore. I used to love buying seasonal soaps, cute little dispensers from Bath & Body. I thought it was so fun to have the different scents and the cute bottles, but I really just don't buy them anymore at all. I used to buy clothes that didn't quite fit, especially pants that were too long. I'm really short, I'm only 5'3", and I would just take my clothes to the tailor, and it was not a cheap experience. Um, I just don't take things to the tailor like I used to. It's really saved me a lot of money, and it's just a different way of shopping. I don't think, oh, this would be perfect if, no, I just say if it's perfect, great. If it's not perfect, I do not buy it. I do not buy pajamas like ever. I just use my sweatpants to go to bed in or something really comfy and lightweight. I also don't buy zip up hoodies. I also don't buy shaving cream fancy shower gels or bath products in general, like bath bombs. I used to hear about a new makeup product and I would be the first one at the store buying that item. I don't buy trending makeup items ever. I don't get apps. I actually don't even have TikTok. I just watch my um, little Instagram reels and I'll see these TikTok 
videos like kind of cycling through. So that is how I've seen TikTok, but I don't have the app and I don't buy apps in general. Seasonal gifts and seasonal decor are two things that I don't buy. Pretty much anything that has to do with the changing holiday or really, really specific seasonal anything for the home, I stay away from. I like to keep things that can be used over and over again, different seasons, different holidays. So I actually don't buy any home decor that is specific to a season. I used to buy just in case items. Oh my gosh, this would be the perfect um, little gift for somebody. Just in case, I'll buy it. Um, anything that I'm thinking I might use, like any craft supply I think looks really handy for the potential future, I do not buy stuff like this. If I have a use for it and a reason to buy it, I will, but I don't buy things just because and I don't buy things just in case. I don't buy car freshener. I used to buy multiple different colors and styles of towels and I used to think this was fun. I used to kind of collect different patterns, but I've realized that like since I've simplified that just having solid colors works for me. I don't buy pattern towels anymore. Candles. I wait for the Bath and Body Works sale for the fall and I stock up, which means I don't have to buy candles throughout the year. I went through and decluttered underneath my kitchen sink recently and realized that I had about 20 <laughs> Mrs. Meyer surface sprays. I committed to not buying a single new surface spray until all of these are gone. Something else I don't buy anymore is plastic Tupperware. I recently did a kitchen declutter and I got rid of the last of my plastic. I love these glass jars. They reheat in the microwave, which is amazing, and they don't stain. Something else that I'm not buying is tea. I have this whole thing full of tea. I really try my best to respect the boundaries of my home. So I'm gonna respect the boundary of this container it's full, not buying anymore. I recently discovered the magic of Swedish dishcloths. These are so nice. They take the place of paper towels and they're reusable, so more sustainable. I love them. You can buy these on Amazon in packs of like 12. I think that's what I got. I will link my set down below, but these are so nice and no more paper towels. I used to buy a ton of different scented lotions. I just buy one. I love the Jergens Ultra Healing. When this is gone, I'll buy another exactly like this. I try and save all of the gift bags that we get for birthdays and holidays, which is so nice because I don't have to buy any throughout the year. I am not going to buy any more throw blankets. I used to buy throw blankets all the time. I love being cozy. I think they're so cute, but I have plenty. I don't buy dryer sheets anymore. I just buy these wool dryer balls. You can put a few drops of essential oil on these which lightly scents your clothing but this is so nice because these are reusable I get these on Amazon I used to buy special foot scrubs and foot creams I just use my regular lotion for that now I just have this one aside from my face cream I don't put this on my face but I don't buy special foot creams in addition I don't buy lip scrubs anymore I used to buy them I thought they were so fancy so bougie <laughs> I just don't need them because you can just use the corner of of a damp towel to lightly exfoliate. It is so much better than having to go out and buy lip scrubs. So I don't buy those anymore and I don't buy self tanners. I just go with my natural pale face. And then I don't get lash fillers. So I don't get, you know, lash fillers, any kind of filler. I really don't pay for these types of services. I don't buy bathroom rugs anymore. I learned my lesson when I realized that they just get kind of mildewy. Every season, I used to buy myself a new beanie, new gloves, new scarves. I just bought a really nice one, a really nice wool set of gloves and hat, and I don't wear scarves anymore at all. I used to buy really chunky jewelry, especially necklaces. The earrings I'm wearing today are about as bold as I'll get these days, but I don't buy those chunkier pieces really anymore. I just stick to more dainty and delicate pieces. Do you still buy tights and nylons? I just, I have one. I think this is the only one I have. This is my pair of black nylons. 
I just don't buy these. I used to buy these all the time. I just go bare-legged. <laughs> Even if it's chilly, I'll just put on a nice coat and stay toasty. I don't buy setting sprays anymore. I just feel like they didn't really do what they say they would. So instead of going out and buying a bunch of setting sprays that didn't really work, I just focus on glowy skin. I do not buy DVDs or CDs anymore. We just stream everything these days. I would love to declutter these, but my husband really wants to hold on to them, which I of course completely respect. So we haven't gotten rid of these yet, but we just don't buy any more. I generally don't buy multiples of the same product or variations of the same product. I only have one wallet. I only have one pair of nail clippers. I only have one umbrella. So I try and only keep one that you know, serves one function. When it comes to consumables like lipstick, like surface spray, it can be nice to have a couple. That's your preference. You don't have to have any of this stuff, but when it comes to different variations, different styles, different colors of umbrellas, I just, I don't do that. I used to only buy cheap organization systems because I didn't wanna spend the money. Problem is they generally didn't work out. So I don't buy cheap organizers unless I know they're what I'm looking for. I basically do not buy information that I can get for free online. Example, magazines. I don't pay for them because I could get the same information on Pinterest for free. I really try not to buy anything uncomfortable. This really is like clothes and shoes, but if it's impractical, if it's a one use item um, or something that I try on and I'm like, it's almost perfect, but it's just not quite there. I try and pass on it. I made a mistake recently and didn't try on in the dressing room and I did end up having to declutter because I'd lost the receipts, lost the tags. I try not to buy things that are impractical or uncomfortable. I really try and steer clear of buying large toys. I just find they take up a lot of room. They're so bulky, they're hard to store. So I try not to buy larger items anymore. Oh, I forgot to mention, I don't buy face masks anymore. I used to, I used to be pretty religious about buying face masks. I just, again, didn't feel like they did enough or anything, <laughs> so I couldn't justify spending the money. I have a playlist on the screen of a few other videos you can check out. I will meet you over there.